Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 7 license tests. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one yet, make sure you check that out. Link will be in the description. Uh, but our first license today is the fifth super license. Uh, the only uh, dirt test of the super licenses uh, taking uh, taking the challenge on in a Toyota Yaris. This is uh, my first and will be the only time I drive on the dirt for uh, Gran Turismo 7. Uh, certainly quite odd, a uh, bit of an odd feeling as you can see. Certainly losing a lot of time uh, compared to the ghost car. Um, so yeah, struggling to sort of get a uh, fine pace, should I say, uh, straight off the bat running into a tighter left-hander. Of course, this is also a course I've never driven before. I'd barely even seen this course before, so uh, very much taking it as we go here uh, in the Toyota Yaris. Uh, about halfway through here, and I I'll be honest with you, wasn't particularly enjoying the dirt physics on GT7. Certainly weren't as enjoyable as Sir WRC and yeah we'd run just too quickly into that left-hander and we'd actually decided I'd had enough already and uh, wanted to move on to the next challenge, the sixth super license test which is a trial mounted in a Ford uh, Mustang Shelby GT350R uh, but yeah trial mounted very a uh, famous circuit within the Gran Turismo series. Of course, it was slightly remastered uh, in uh, for GT7, uh, running a bit deep into the first corner. This, uh, no, this is the normal. I was about to say this is the reverse, but no, this is the normal uh, direction. So very uh, fast turn one. I have driven uh, Trail Mountain a little bit in a long time ago on uh, GT4. But uh, as well in uh, South Course and Beam a little bit uh, too, uh, but not, not run too many uh, laps on it. Uh, that of course is the old version of it, not the new GT7 version. A little bit wide at the turn one apex for this run and just sliding around with the car, uh, still trying to get used to it on this second run. In deep to this long right-hander and we just clip the outside wall meaning that we would have to uh, restart once again. So now on to our third attempt here at uh, Trail Mountain into turn one, knowing I've got to be much more aggressive on that inside curb, uh, but still a little bit late to turn in, and a little bit late to turn into the right-hander of turn two a little bit wide. Loses us a lot of time so far, just trying to uh, balance the car. Better run through the uh, first tunnel here, through the left-hander, but still dropping back quite a bit from the um, AI, and again just in even deeper this time into the tight acute right-hander, uh, much heavier interval, and it'll have to be a another attempt. So another attempt it is, heading down towards turn one again. Uh, this time once again, go try and get into the left-hander, but once again just overestimating the capabilities of the car. Much better through turn two despite being compromised and trying to be aggressive on the curb on the left hand side. Taking a bit of grass as well but really unsettled the car and ultimately cost us a bit of time. A little bit closer to the ghost car this time bound uh, but let's see if we've learned into this tight right hander taking it a little bit more cautiously and we do get round a little bit of a slide on the exit struggling with traction a little bit. Uh, now into this next right-hander, once again, just much tighter than I'm expecting, and we are going to have to try once more. So quite a few uh, tight right-handers in the first uh, half of Trial Mountain here catching me out. Uh, but let's see if we've learned our lesson once more. Down towards turn one, can we get on to that apex? We're uh, much better line, but not carrying as much speed or as confidence 
as the ghost car, a little bit of a snap of oversteer, still going for the grass, uh, but expecting the slide and able to control the car much better. Three, turn three, they're running the car a bit deeper into this left-hander, uh, but not able to quite get the car turned in uh, like the ghost is. So we've dropped back a little bit. Good, try and balance the aggression here into the right-hander. The car certainly rotates much better, though too well on the exit as we try and put down the part. We're going to take a bit carefully into this right-hander, knowing that it is much tighter than uh, I initially thought it was. Now, the left-hander here that leads on to the long, long back straight of the circuit, once again struggling, struggling for traction on the exit. Gives us a quite poor run uh, down this back straight as we're sort of halfway mark-ish round the lap. Heading now to this long, open left-hand hairpin, trying to guess our breaking point. So we're using the curb on the right-hand side. It's very deep, but we do get the car slowed down, um, even if we do run wide. Now, sort of into the final sector of the lap, just making sure not to run into the one on the left-hand side, getting the car slowed down for this right-hander. It seems reasonably tight. Uh, I would say for the first time through there, we dealt with that quite well. Now into this sort of tight left-hander, late on the brakes, not getting the car initially turned in and once again taking a wide line, not by choice. Now down to the final chicken, much tighter than it was in the initial version to try and create a big braking zone and uh, be a better overtake opportunity. A bit deep on the brakes this time, leads us very wide, compromises our entry into the final corner and it's just going to be the run up to the line. Six seconds now, Counting to the goal time, where is the line exactly? It's quite far down the street, so it's not going to be gold, but we will get silver by over a second on our first attempt. Uh, we would have two and a half seconds, about nearly two and a half seconds to find if we were to go for gold, but um, I wanted to move on to the next challenge, giving the limited time I had at my friend's house here. So we move on to the seventh challenge, and we certainly take up a, a big step up in car performance, uh, but something I'm much more accustomed to, the Super Formula car. This is the older one, the 2019 model, not the new uh, 2023 model. Uh, the thing with these cars is um, they have a lot of grip uh, for the power that they have, so you can be really aggressive, um, and you can see how much time I've lost to the Ghost just because I'm not being aggressive enough uh, and you'll see as we uh, go on uh, that I do gain the confidence. Um, but with how quick that this car is, you also have to be very precise, especially at uh, Laguna Seca here. Um, Laguna, a very challenging track. It has practically no runoff if you run wide or straight into the sand. Um, the curbs have the big red anti cuts. We got away with running over the one on the inside of the fast left hander there. Um, but they can be pretty damning, uh, let's just say, if you do run right over the top of them. Uh, so our first attempt, it won't be gold, it won't even be silver. Uh, it'll be bronze, needing to find um, just over three seconds to get gold, just over a second for uh, silver. So let's see if we can at least get silver on our second attempt here. We know we have to be much more aggressive, so we try to break much later, carrying much more speed into T1. Cut back to try and get a good exit. You can see we're keeping tabs with the Ghost. A little bit wide of the apex at turn three. And we're going to try and be flat through turn four, but really mistiming at the turn in. Have to take a lift and still managing to hit the anti cut compromises. Our rank can see how badly affected the car this time. Uh, and, and yeah, it has dropped us back from the Ghost. Just trying to be more aggressive through the middle sector. Trying flat out here for left-hander, but didn't quite get the line right. Got over that anti-cut. Uh, I think I did take a little lift. Didn't quite catch if it was flat out there. Breaking later into the corkscrew, but a bit deep. Uh, that'll compromise the speed on the exit. Now into this left-hander. Holding it flat out. Now through the penultimate corner. Hitting the anti-cut, but again, getting away with it. Um, it's still not ideal. Try and get the car turned in a little bit sooner for the final corner. I can see we are much closer to the Ghost. We'll definitely take silver, but we'll still be nearly four tenths off of the gold time. So we'd have to push a little bit more 
uh, to try and get that gold time. So, third attempt, would be third time lucky? Let's find out. On the run down three, turn one towards the hairpin of turn two again. Breaking just as late, getting the car a little bit of a tighter line this time, using all the road on the exit into turn two. Trying to turn in a little bit earlier, but still a little bit wide of the apex, not carrying good speed out of turn three. Trying to take turn four flat out here, uh, but just not getting quite the right line and running a little bit wide. I was, maybe after the Mustang, I was doubting the turning capabilities of the Super Formula a little bit. Turning in a little bit earlier, so then having to turn out of the corner, and then I was just on a bad line and not able to make the corner again. Uh, running a bit more of a wider line, cutting back a bit more for the second apex of the hairpin. Trying to turn in a little bit earlier, but not really any better. A little bit of a better exit this time, though. Through turn three, trying to take a fat, took a little bit of a lift, uh, but had a good line there. Didn't lose too much time to the ghost. Now, the first time to properly compare ourselves through this left hander, then goes a little bit too tight of a line hitting that anti cut on the left hand side. Then through this left hander, had to take a little lift to make sure I didn't run out wide. But if I got the line a little bit better there, I uh, could definitely take it flat out. Way too late on the brakes into the corkscrew, really tight line for the second half. You can see the car getting unset settled with just how much steering I'm, I was trying to put in over the crest into the penultimate corner now. Not a bad run, just the final corner to go. A little bit too cautious maybe, could have been a bit more aggressive. I'll cost us a bit of time, so on the run up to the line, have we done it here on our fifth attempt? Not quite, we just missed out by half a tenth, so we know we can do it. It's just putting it together. Can we do it here for the sixth uh, time of asking, I believe, now if I've counted correctly, into uh, turn one. A little bit of a tighter line this time. Certainly doesn't hurt us at all. Now aims this right-hander trying to be a little bit more aggressive. Had to pull the car up slightly on the exit to not run wide. Flat out through turn four. Keeps us a little bit ahead of the ghost, I believe, at this point. Into turn five. Seems like a decent run. We still seem to be at least level, actually. We're in front of the ghost. You can just about see it in the mirror. Going flat out through that left hander a little bit wide. Does allow the ghost to catch back up now through the corkscrew. Trying not to break too late. Getting to the first apex a little bit. Uh, all over the second apex does slightly compromise us. Flat out through the long left hander towards the penultimate corner. Can we stand from the ghost? Trying to carry more speed through there. And we've had a great run compared to the ghost into the final corner. Very well judged, I must say, on this lap. You can see the ghost in the mirrors behind us will easily beat the target time by nearly one and a half seconds this time, certainly gaining much a lot of confidence with every uh, lap that we did. So on to the eighth and what will be final test that we complete in this part. Uh, we are going to enter Lagos uh, with a Pagani Zonda R a car that coming into this, I would have considered very much track focused and sort of like a mini prototype for the road. I'd misjudge braking for turn one, getting on the grass on the right hand side, um, which would um, ruin that attempt straight away, so I knew not to do that again. Trying to break at the 50 uh, meter board, uh, the brake boards are a little bit early for turn one as the turn starts to curve before tightening up to the actual apex. Uh, but yeah, it's still a little bit too ambitious. So trying here more by nearly 70 meters. But uh, again, the car just too late. The car doesn't have the grip uh, nor the turn in to deal with uh, braking that late. I should probably be looking for the 100 meter board in reference and we're breaking just after the 100 meter board this time we're still in deep uh, trying to get the car turned in but just felt like the car didn't want to turn in and um, probably because the car's on racing hard tires and uh, just not offering a lot of grip so we lose quite a bit of time as of course that wide line through turn one compromises our line into turn two and the momentum that we carry through turn three and down here to turn four breaking much earlier much more towards 100 meter board and we get a uh, decent run through um, turn four here up towards the long right hander again once again just overestimating the car's capabilities 
probably trying to drive the car more, more as if it's a single-seater rather than the road-going prototype-esque that it is. So much more careful into turn one. We'll get to the apex this time and open up the second apex. Try and carry speed, get a little bit over that second car, but the car gets a bit unsettled. Leaves me on this really bad line through turn three. At this point, I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated uh, with this car. So we go for another attempt. Breaking 100 meter board again. Just don't feel the confident brakes as late as the ghost. Yeah, get the car slowed down for turn one. Maybe should be a bit more aggressive over that turn two curb. But uh, even with that um, opening up turn two more, I struggle to get sort of a better exit than the ghost through turn two and turn three. And we fall back a little bit. Breaking just for the 100 meter board there, closing a bit on the ghost curb. That does sort of give us a bad exit out of turn four and through turn five and the ghost disappears up the road once more. Much more careful now into the long right-hander of turn six. Not too bad of a line, but struggling with the rear end on the exit, trying to get the power back down on the road. Into the technical section now of Interlagos through the long left-hander car. Quite a bit of understeer through here, just having to be patient. Now up to the right-hander. Very difficult braking zone, this one. Uh, just since you're going quite slowly into it, the car you know, hasn't got the downforce uh, in most of the other parts of the track. I threw this long left-hander up to the final corner. We'll try and keep it neat and tidy, try and get power down as quickly as possible. Not too bad, and uh, not using the curb as I wasn't confident in it. I wasn't too sure if that was just going to stop the car sideways, uh, which it can do in some cases. Uh, so as we run up to the line for our first attempt, we will get gold, uh, or silver, sorry, and uh, we'll be a second off of the gold time. Uh, and with limited time and getting a little bit frustrated, I decided to leave it there for uh, that challenge. So yeah, not getting uh, many golds, only uh, one gold uh, in this part, uh, having to take uh, silver in the rest. Uh, or not even finishing the dirt challenge. Uh, we'll be back next time for the final part uh, here of trying out GT7 with uh, the final two challenges, including that uh, Porsche 917K at Spa uh, in the wet. Uh, keep tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that final part. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>